what is the java full stack what is the meaning of full stack what is the training of java full stack what are the content we have to consider under the java full stack what are the details you should know before starting with the java full stack training we will have a overview in today's session here java full stack is representing the terminology of something we have again one more terminology called as backend plus frontend so backend plus frontend so when we know the technologies of backend technologies as well as frontend technologies then we are calling it as a java full stack developer or java full stack software engineer so that means a developer should know backend technologies as well as frontend technologies again the question here it is what is a frontend what is a back so we don't know very clearly about frontend and backend maybe we heard about what is a frontend what is a backend but what what exactly the meaning of backend and frontend we will try to understand in today's session okay so generally whenever we are taking any website any software application we will have two things one is front end front end means for example if i take in the flipkart application any website okay if it is a instagram facebook flipkart amazon whatever you take in any application right so whatever you can see with our eyes like what we can see in front of our eyes with these colors images logos all these things right so to implement this interface whatever we can see here to implement all this interface we will use some technologies so those technologies are going to be called as front end technologies front end so that means in front of the user okay front end technologies so the same thing will be called as ui also ui technologies also. so that means user interface technologies what are the user interface technologies or what are the front end technologies we are aware of in the market right now or what we hear probably one is html the most popular one css as well as javascript as well as other frameworks available called as react js angular js okay so react js as well as angular js these are our very popular front end technologies nowadays now what about the back end so here the word representing back end back end means something is happening in the back end so that means generally whenever we are doing any activities we are clicking on a button for example i am entering my mobile number here so immediately for example see here i entered wrong mobile number invalid mobile number but immediately flipkart application is saying enter the valid mobile number so that means how flipkart knowing that this number is a invalid number so how flipkart is saying it is a invalid mobile number so some that means in the back end something is happening whenever you are clicking on the request otp button immediately something is happening in okay behind the flipkart application so those are all things coming under the those are all activities coming under the back end functionalities okay so that means whether this mobile number is already available in the database or not something like that flipkart application is going to verify whenever you are clicking on the request otp immediately this mobile number is sending to the back end technologies and that means back end logic and then back end logic will verify this mobile number with this mobile number any user account is registered or not if it is registered then it will send immediately otp if it is not registered then immediately it will say like this is a invalid mobile number so that means a validation is happening in the back end right so that validation is performing by the back end logic so that means this back end logic we are going to implement by using back end technologies back end technologies so nothing but we have again lot of programming languages which are related to the back end logic okay so for example if you see here if i entered my valid mobile number 8826313777 and i'm clicking on the otp so this time flipkart application immediately created a otp and sent the same otp to my my mobile number and see the button is also changed earlier the button is request otp in the red color now the button is in the blue color with the label of verify so that means so when mobile number is valid immediately it created a otp it is shared a otp as well as some kind of front end changes also we are seeing here right so that means here something is happened again in the back end so that means mobile number is verified mobile number is available already so that's why a, a, a otp is created and that otp is being sent to this mobile number and immediately front end is also changed to another screen or another page as verify the otp so if i enter see here i am entering the invalid otp so that means 
I entered six months. Immediately, what it is saying, Flipkart application, OTP is incorrect. So that means again, something is happening in the back end. So that means when you enter details in the front end, the data or the details are going to the back end logic. Now, back end logic is reading the data and processing the data and verifying the data based on some rules and regulations implemented as part of the back end logic. So based on that result, it is giving the response. If I'm clicking on the verify what it is saying, OTP is incorrect. If I entered again valid OTP, so whatever I received on my mobile number, for example, I received so and so OTP number. So let me enter it. Okay. So see here now what's happened. Once I entered a valid OTP, the OTP is verified by the Flipkart application, and that means backend logic. Then it is started displaying all my Flipkart information, like what are what is my profile, what are what are what are my addresses. What are the orders I made earlier? And it is displaying my name also. So, right. So, this is what the process generally we will observe as part of any web application or any software application. If you are going with the Gmail, Facebook, Instagram, Flipkart, Amazon, okay, Prime Video, Netflix, right? So, anything you can take. Mostly, you will have a login process. And as part of the login, username, password, user registration, all these things will happen, right? So for every, I mean, as part of every application, so we will have something we can see with our eyes called as front end thing, as well as we will have a backend. The data is being validated and the data is being verified by the backend logic. So here to implement the backend logic, what we cannot see with our eyes. So that means earlier a OTP is created, a OTP is validated, but we cannot see with our eyes, right? So where OTP is created, how OTP is validated by the Flipkart in the back end. So we cannot see with our eyes. So that's why this is all being calling as a back end functionalities. So now to implement the back end functionalities, we have back end technologies, nothing but programming languages. And the most popular one is Java programming language. So not only Java, even we can consider .NET, Python, okay, so etc. etc. We have other couple of back end programming languages also. Okay. So these are all coming under the what guys? Backend. So these are all coming under the front end. Now, along with this, we have one more important component called as database. What it is? Database. So what is the database here it is? So every software application, 100% contains, again, one more concept called as database. Data plus base. So you know that, what is the meaning of database? So that means where you are storing the data, where you are storing the data, we can call it as a database. For example, if I take an Excel sheet, yeah, Excel sheet, as part of Excel sheet, I can store a lot of information. So that means I can take some information like, yeah, if I open Excel sheet, I can enter student ID, student name, student marks, email ID, mobile number, gender, okay, city, pin code, something like that. I can collect the information. I mean, I can store as part of the Excel sheet. So that means now in this case, Excel is becoming as a database, right? That is one example. Similarly, if I take in phones, our phones, our mobile phones, as part of mobile phones, I can say contacts. Whenever you are receiving a new mobile number, I mean, whenever you are trying to store a new mobile number of your friends or someone else, what you will do? You will enter the mobile number. You will click on the button called as add contacts. So that means you are storing that respective mobile number with a some name. Okay, X, Y, Z. Now this mobile number is permanently available in your in your okay contact list. So whenever you want to call this person X, Y, Z, going further, what you will do? You will not enter the mobile number. Simply you will type his name. Automatically your contacts will start displaying the mobile number. Then you will click on the mobile number so that you can connect it to your friends. So that means in different, different scenarios, different, different examples, we can consider it as a, a database. But when it comes to the actual software applications, we have a database, something like, maybe probably you hear the names called as Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, Okay, so something like that. We have so many databases again as part of our software industry. So that means now again, as part of the Java full stack program, we have to understand front end technologies. That means we should learn front end technologies as well as back end technologies. 
as well as we have to know we should blend database also so that means out of all these databases we should know at least one database of, okay one database generally these are all databases are going to be operated by using a language called as sql that's sql is representing structured query language so that means he what so these are all i mean you should know sql language to deal with the database so that means we should know the we should learn sql also these are all things coming under the java full stack program so for example in future you got a chance to work with the python full stack application assume there is a in case if you got a chance then what are the things are going to change from this entire program is this is where the things will change so that means python is all about a back end programming language right so in place of java simply what you are using you are using the python that's all but when it comes to the front end technologies when it comes to the database okay both are same with respect to python language dot net language java language even some other back end programming languages also so that means front end plus database is being common across any full stack program whether you are taking java full stack dot net full stack as well as python full stack all these things okay so that's why if you are good with this front end technologies as well as sql and one of the back end programming language then you can call yourself as a full stack developer so when when you are calling a person as a java python means in place of java if he knows the python then we are calling him as a python full stack developer similarly dot net also so that means only back end is changing from one full stack program to another full stack program so you got the point right so that means in the overall we have to a software application will contain this architecture front end and as well as back end so as part of back end so you will have again a back end programming language as well as we will have a concept called as database so here this is all coming under the front end okay so then what is the front end means here the programming language is what we are going to learn i mean the concepts javascript css as well as we are providing we are taking react js because react js is the more popular front end framework front end technology nowadays in any application or in any software organization so now when it comes to the back end again yes so you know that java is the one leading the market from last 30 years okay still java is number one back end programming language due to performance so how it is number one why it is number one till today from last 30 years is okay there is a different there is a concept of performance so i will discuss how java is becoming still as a number one programming language as part of any software application why people are considering the java okay we will see in the next two sessions with respect to performance even we can call it as python dot net also as part of this but yes as part of the java full stack program is definitely we should know only java and its associated frameworks so spring spring boot so these are all things i mean spring boot is again somehow related to the java only so spring boot is again related to the java only so generally there is a concept of programming language versus framework so these are also same point so that means as a java full stack program if you want to become a full stack developer of java then we should know java programming language as well as one more framework called as spring boot framework so then only you can consider yourself as a java developer when you know the spring boot otherwise there is no use of learning java nowadays to get a job now along with that database along with that what you what we should know is 100 percentage database so as part of the database what is the pro, what is the language we are going to learn is sql language from the front end data we go to the back end okay back end means pro java programming language now java will verify contain or storing data into database or verifying data from the database something like that a processing is happening between java language versus database now database will give some information back to the java so here you will write down the logic we will write down a lot of logic after learning the java programming language right so we will write down the logic by using our knowledge so based on that logic java is interacting with the database database is providing some results and that results again being forwarding to the front end 
so that results are again being forwarded to the front end okay front end back end as well as database right so this is all a flow happens in between front end versus back end now with respect to technology stack also java full stack also what we understood now html css javascript react js are all we should know if you want to okay become as a full stack developer and as part of the front end you should know all these things similarly java and as well as a framework called as Spring Boot and as well as database. So then you are calling yourself as a full stack developer. Java full stack developer. Okay. So this is all about a full stack developer. Now I will I will take one more point. For example, a person knows only front end technologies. What? He knows only front end technologies. So is it possible to get job only with the front end technologies or not? Yes, we can get a job by knowing only front-end technologies then generally then we will call those developers as front-end developers what those developers we are calling as a front-end developers so that means they are experts in the only front-end technologies they know only front-end technologies they don't know how to write down java logic they don't know how to write down sql all these things they know only how to implement the front-end that means these colors, these images, these logos, okay, this kind of uh, formation of the content, user interface, colors, all these things, okay. So this is all coming under the front end point of view. So now when it comes to the back end, I mean, when a person knows only Java or Java related technology or a framework called as Spring Boot and SPL, I mean, is it possible to get a job means, yes, we can get a job even when you know only Java and Spring Boot as well as SQL. So that means here you should know Java, Spring Boot, that means a framework, as well as you should know as a backend developer, SQL also. So that means you should know what guys, Java as well as SQL and as well as like Spring Boot framework. So as part of the current market, I'm telling, Spring Boot is the most popular. So when you know only these technologies and you are not expert in the front end or you, are, you don't have much idea of the front end technologies, then you can apply as a backend developers. What it is, you can apply as a backend developers. So that means, yes, there are jobs available as a front end developers. There are jobs available as a backend developers. When you are feeling like, okay, I can continue only with backend technologies, Java, Spring Boot, and SQL, so that you can become as a backend developer. And if you are feeling like, I don't want to learn, okay, Java, and you are feeling difficult somehow. And if you are having only basic idea of Java or SQL, all these things, or but you are an expert in the front end, then you can try as a front end developer. But when a person, but if you are having capability or if you are having interest towards front end technologies as well as back end technologies, then we can apply the jobs as a full stack developer. So that means you can you are eligible as a front end developer as well as back end developer in case there are any openings as well as you are eligible as a full stack developer so you are having the number of job getting chances as a full stack developer because he know how to write down he know how to take care of front end he know how to take care of back end so that's why a person who knows full stack technologies then he is having more probability of getting jobs I mean, very quickly you can get the job because you know all the things as a single person. But there are things like individually you can get a job as a front end as well as back end. But the most pro okay, based on the current market, the trend is happening via full stack developer. So it's better to go with full stack developer to get a job quickly and to improve the probability of getting job also. Okay, so this is all about a full stack training now you are clear with what is full stack why people are calling everything as part of the full stack full stack java full stack python full stack and all right so this is what the exact meaning of full stack developers so you should know front end technologies you should know back end technologies you should know database then only you are a full stack developer